Moving up to welterweight to face the undefeated Errol Spence. The result was painful. Errol looked dominant. Mikey got a C up. Likely going back. Two light away classes, probably 135. But rather than go back down in weight, with everyone suddenly doubting him, everyone that is, except himself. The main event is next. 12 rounds at welterweight. Mikey Garcia back off his first pro loss, going up against Jesse Vargas, the pride of Las Vegas, with a record of 29-2-2. and two. Let's go to the tail of the tape, as we're here in Frisco, Texas. Mikey Garcia, 32 years of age, Vargas. And here we see the tricks of both fighters right here. That's what Mikey Garcia specializes in. He times it with that long jab, just to land what he really wants to write, the right hand, right over it. But he guides you, and he guides your face to where you want to land that right hand. And here comes Jesse Vargas, what he is really good at. He jabs downstairs to lure you to drop your arms to come around the guard with overhand rights and lefts. He had that rare combination too, Sergio, a right. And here we're gonna see that one, two. That's what he's known for. That's what he dropped, drops a lot of fighters with. He dropped Easter with that punch. It's a it's a right hand. He guides your head where he's gonna want, want to land that right hand. And from there, the combinations just flow. And this is the delayed right hand that Mikey Garcia is known for. That's a measure stick jab just to land that right hand. And it lands all the time. That's what originally rocked Jesse Vargas at first. Take it up. Take but it credit up. for Vargas, man. He's still trying to land. But if you do it with timing, you're going to get hurt. 